Hello there, this is BigC90210 from WRMaps.com and from TeamSEO.com. Today this is we're going to be making our very very first map for Worms Reloaded. Okay, let's get started. First thing to do is we're going to open up an existing map and then use that as the basis of our creating a new map. So we go to my computer, C, Program Files, or if you're using a 64-bit operating system, such as Windows 764, you go to Program Files 86, or whichever location you've installed Steam do, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Worms Reloaded, and then open the folder called User Landscapes. Okay, here's a selection of all the ordinary built-in landscapes that are in Worms. What we'll do is, just as an example, we'll right-click on Cars, the Cars map, and we'll paste it and we'll make a copy. In fact, let's just call it, rename it and call it uh, Cars 2. Okay, we're now going to open up Cars 2 into Photoshop. So, I've already got Photoshop open. So, open up Photoshop and then drag it in. Okay, Photoshop is now open Cars 2. Here is the map. For the reference, and for those of you interested, the resolution of the image is 2560 pixels by 1280, and the file type is TGA. Now then, one thing you'd be interested to see is that the background is completely black. Everything that is black is going to be the background, such as the sky and stuff in game. So it's very important that you be aware of this. If you look down here in the layers palette and the channels palette, you can see there's an extra channel here which shows the difference for the game to understand between what's background and what is actual landscape. Okay, so to begin with, what we're going to do is we are going to fill the background with black. So I'm just going to press I to get the eyedropper and I'm going to fill the background in black. Okay, so now we can do pretty much whatever we like. So from here, going to open up some images that I pulled off the internet. Here's one, it's the Worms logo. I'm going to press Ctrl A and Ctrl C to copy it, highlight it and then copy it. I'm going to switch back to me blank landscape and press Ctrl V to paste it in. As you can see, we now have the Worms Reloaded logo on our map. This could be anything, this could be a photo, anything you like. I'm just going to quickly use the quick selection tool to highlight the white, which I'll be removing from the map, uh, removing from this image. Looks a bit better. So, okay. So now we have the Worms Reloaded logo. We're going to go to File, Open. This time we're going to open a picture of the worm from the beta. Press Ctrl A, Ctrl C to copy. Then we're going to paste them back in the original image. We'll just sit the little guy down there. Bear in mind on maps there is water, so things at the bottom of the map might be cut off by the, the water level. Again, we're going to do the same as before, making sure I've got the right layer selected. We are going to remove the worm. Uh, sorry, not remove the worm, remove the background so that we have the picture of the worm. Very roughly done. Probably made a few mistakes, but you get the idea. Also, I'm just going to type www.wormsreloadedmaps.com. Okay, so we've got this here. This is now our very basic map. Okay, from here, if you have any text layers, there's multiple ways. Basically, what we need to do now is we need to select this selection. And we need to have it so the alpha channel, which is this, is our selection. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to make the alpha selection or alpha channel all black. So we're just going to highlight it, edit, fill the alpha channel with black. So now we have our picture. And we need this on the alpha channel. So... So if we, if we highlight the layers by holding down control, clicking one, two, three, 
we can go to layer, merge layers. So we now have the background and the foreground. We now go to select, load selection, okay. This now highlights everything we have, both the text and the two images. Keeping the selection open, go back to the channels, then to the alpha layer, and then you want to go to edit, fill, in this case, white. Okay. So this is your map, pretty much done. This is what it should look like in game, making sure the channels, the alpha channel, is white of everything in your picture and black is the background. So now go to file, save. Just quickly going to navigate back, file, program files, steam, steam apps, common, worms reloaded, user landscapes. From the drop down box, pick TJ, Targa, and then we, it was called Cars 2, press save. Would you like to overwrite? Yes. Just keep it at 32. Okay, so that should be Worms. Uh, that should be the map finished. Now, if you go to Steam, load up Worms Reloaded. Okay, so I'm just gonna log in and quickly start again. Go to single player, custom game. I'm just gonna add my team. Add in a bot, start game, it'll take us to our landscape generator. So what we want to do now is we want to press the load a custom landscape and here is our map, Cars 2. And then what do you know, here is our map and then we can press OK. And then there you go, you are playing what can I do you for? custom <laughs> map. OK guys, thank you very much. Combustion of energy or exothermic reactions. I'm on a case. To, uh, don't forget to submit your maps to wrmaps.com and come along and see what everyone else has made. Okay, this is Big C902 from wrmaps and teamseo.com. Over and out. Thanks for watching.